Welcome to the Fringe Topics channel. To our returning subscribers, thank you for your support. It's greatly appreciated. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe and join us on the exploration of the Fringe. Imagine for a moment that you're walking in a familiar place and suddenly, you find yourself in an endless maze of yellow windowless rooms. This is the world of the back rooms, an internet urban legend that has captured the imagination of many. In the vast expanse of the internet where countless ideas are born and die every day, few manage to pierce through the noise and capture the collective imagination. The back rooms is one such phenomenon, and its origin can be traced back to an innocuous post on the image board 4chan. On a day like any other in 2019, an anonymous user posted an image on 4chan's paranormal board. The image depicted a nondescript room bathed in a sickly yellow light, with an old worn-out carpet and a hint of fluorescent lighting overhead. The room was unsettling in its familiarity, as if it was a place we've all seen but can't quite place. Accompanying the image was a caption that read, If you're not careful and you no-clip out of reality in the wrong areas, you'll end up in the back rooms, where it's nothing but the stink of old moist carpet, the madness of mono yellow, the endless background noise of fluorescent lights at maximum hum, and approximately 600 million square miles of randomly segmented empty rooms to be trapped in. The concept struck a chord. The idea of no clipping, a term borrowed from video games where characters can pass through walls or objects, out of our reality and into this eerie endless maze was both fascinating and terrifying. The post quickly gained traction, not just within the 4chan community, but across various social media platforms. Reddit, Twitter, and Tumblr users began sharing the image, adding their own interpretations and experiences. Some claimed to have dreamt of the backrooms before, while others shared eerily similar photos of places they'd been that resembled the original image. The backrooms had, in a sense, become a shared nightmare, a place that felt universally familiar, yet deeply unsettling. As the legend grew, so did its lore. New levels of the backrooms were introduced, each more terrifying than the last. Artists began creating renditions, writers spun tales of harrowing escapes, and soon, the backrooms had evolved from a single image to a sprawling urban legend. At its core, the backrooms are a seemingly infinite series of rooms, hallways, and spaces that defy logic. The most iconic imagery associated with the backrooms is that of a room bathed in a sickly yellow hue, illuminated by the hum of old fluorescent lights overhead. The walls, often covered in a faded yellowed wallpaper, show signs of age and wear, with occasional stains or rips that hint at the passage of time, or perhaps something more sinister. Beneath one's feet, the sensation of a musty old carpet is unmistakable. It's the kind of carpet you might find in an outdated office building or a neglected hotel, worn down by countless footsteps. The air is thick with a stagnant smell, a mix of dampness, mildew, and a lingering, unidentifiable odor that seems to seep into one's very being. The silence of the back rooms is its own brand of oppressive. It's not a true silence, but is dominated by the constant droning buzz of the fluorescent lights. This hum, ever-present and unyielding, becomes a maddening soundtrack for those trapped within. Occasionally, one might hear distant echoes, creaks, or murmurs, hints that they might not be entirely alone in this vast expanse. One of the most disturbing aspects of the back rooms is the sensation of timelessness. With no windows, no natural light, and no discernible landmarks, it's easy to lose track of time. Hours can feel like minutes, and days might stretch on with the weight of weeks. The air feels heavy, and a sense of unease permeates every corner. There's a constant feeling of being watched, of being pursued, but by what, or whom, is never quite clear. While the initial image that sparked the backroom's legend depicted a single room, the lore has since expanded to suggest that this is just the tip of the iceberg. The backrooms are vast, spanning an estimated 600 million square miles, divided into various levels, each with its own set of characteristics and dangers. But at its core, the backrooms remain a maze of sameness, a labyrinth with no clear beginning or end. The backrooms, in all their monotonous horror, tap into a primal fear, the fear of the unknown, of getting lost, and of places that feel eerily familiar yet entirely out of place. It's a realm that exists just beyond the periphery of our understanding, a place where reality bends and warps, leaving those who find themselves within its confines to wander, hopelessly and endlessly, in search of an exit that might never come.
In many video games, a no-clip is a cheat or debug mode that allows players to move freely in any direction, unhindered by physical barriers like walls, floors, or ceilings. It's a way to break the rules of the game's world, to see behind the curtain and explore the uncharted. The Backrooms legend takes this digital concept and applies it to our physical reality. The premise is that under certain unspecified conditions or through sheer accident, a person might no-clip out of our known reality and find themselves in the back rooms. It's as if the fabric of our existence has glitches or weak spots, and one can inadvertently slip through these cracks. This idea is both fascinating and terrifying. It suggests that our world, which we perceive as solid and consistent, might be more malleable and unpredictable than we think. The back rooms serve as a sort of behind the scenes of our reality, a place that exists just beyond our comprehension where the rules we take for granted no longer apply. Those who claim to have experienced the back rooms often describe the sensation of no-clipping as disorienting and sudden. One moment, they might be walking in a familiar place, and the next, they find themselves in the endless maze of the back rooms. The transition is jarring, like a sudden shift in perception or a dream that feels all too real. There's also a sense of wrongness, a deep-seated feeling that one doesn't belong in this place. The very act of no-clipping defies logic and reason, and the mind struggles to make sense of this new, alien environment. In the ever-evolving lore of the backrooms, the idea of distinct levels within this vast, interdimensional space has emerged. Each level, with its own unique characteristics and dangers, adds layers of depth to this enigmatic realm. Level Zero is where most find themselves initially. It closely mirrors the original image that sparked the backrooms legend, an endless series of yellow windowless rooms with old faded wallpaper and the omnipresent hum of fluorescent lights. The musty smell of old carpet fills the air. While it may seem benign, the primary danger here is the sheer monotony, which can easily disorient and lead one to wander aimlessly. Progressing deeper, one might stumble upon level one. It bears a resemblance to level zero but shows signs of decay. Wallpaper peels, lights flicker or are entirely broken, casting some areas into unsettling darkness. The rooms and hallways become more varied, some larger, some having more labyrinths. Here, distant and unsettling noises like whispers or footsteps become more pronounced, heightening the sense of being watched or pursued. Venturing further, Level 2 presents a stark departure from the familiar. It takes on an industrial appearance reminiscent of abandoned warehouses or underground parking lots, with its concrete walls and metal doors. The lighting is inconsistent, with many areas dimly lit or swallowed by shadows. It's in this level that many claim to encounter the mysterious entities for the first time. These often hostile beings add a palpable sense of danger, making every step a potential risk. Level 3 introduces an even more alien environment. The walls and floors seem alive, covered in moss, mold, or other organic growths. The air is damp, and the echoing sound of dripping water is a constant companion. The architecture here is unpredictable, with some areas resembling natural caves or winding tunnels. The entities in this level are said to be more aggressive, and the environment itself poses its own threats, from deep water to unstable terrains. Beyond these initial levels, the lore becomes more intricate and varied. Tales speak of levels resembling vast forests, others like endless urban sprawls, and some so abstract they challenge comprehension. Each level, with its own set of challenges and mysteries, beckons explorers deeper into the maze. In this layered descent into the back rooms, one is not only navigating the physical space, but also confronting their own fears and anxieties. It's a journey both outward and inward, a relentless exploration of the unknown's vast expanse. Navigating the enigmatic and treacherous expanse of the back rooms is a challenge that many claim to have faced. Over time, tales and testimonies have woven a tapestry of collective wisdom, offering guidance for those who find themselves lost within its confines. First and foremost, staying calm is paramount. Panic is a formidable adversary in the back rooms. It clouds judgment, leading to poor decisions and heightening vulnerability to the mysterious entities said to lurk in the maze. As one wanders the seemingly endless corridors, marking one's path becomes crucial. By leaving a trail, be it through pieces of clothing, scratches on the wall, or any other discernible means, one might retrace steps and avoid the maddening experience of walking in circles. However, this strategy comes with its own set of challenges. Tales abound of the back room's ability to reset or alter its layout, rendering such markers obsolete or misleading. Lastly, 
While the allure of the unknown is strong and the hope of an exit even stronger, it's often advised to steer clear of the darkened areas. The shadows, according to many accounts, are where the most hostile entities reside, waiting for the unsuspecting or the overly curious. In the ever-shifting, unpredictable realm of the backrooms, these tips serve as a beacon, a glimmer of hope for those seeking a way back to the reality they once knew. The backrooms, a concept birthed from the depths of the internet, has grown into a modern urban legend that captivates and terrifies in equal measure. Its allure lies not just in its eerie familiarity or the unsettling vastness it portrays, but in the deeper existential questions it raises. In an age where reality often blurs with the virtual, where our fears and anxieties manifest in myriad ways, the backrooms serve as a poignant reflection of our collective psyche. It taps into the primal fear of the unknown, the dread of being lost and the unsettling notion that our perceived reality might be more fragile than we believe. Beyond the tales of endless yellow rooms and the hum of fluorescent lights, the backrooms challenge our understanding of the world around us. It asks, what lies just beyond the periphery of our understanding? How easily can the fabric of our reality unravel? And if we were to find ourselves adrift in such a place, how would we cope, navigate, and ultimately find our way back? The back rooms, in essence, are more than just a maze of rooms. They represent the mysteries that lie just out of reach, the questions that linger unanswered and the human drive to explore, understand, and ultimately conquer the unknown. As the legend continues to evolve, it stands as a testament to our innate curiosity and the timeless allure of a good mystery. In the end, whether real or imagined, the back rooms remain a captivating enigma, a puzzle that many will continue to ponder and explore for years to come. Thank you for spending your time with us at the Fringe Topics channel. If you enjoy our content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. It truly makes a difference, and we're deeply grateful. Remember, our content is driven by your suggestions. If there's a topic you're curious about, drop us a hint at fringetopicsforum.com slash tips. A special thanks to our patrons who make the channel possible. We could not do it without you. If you would like to support the channel, consider becoming a member of our Patreon. Get access to ad-free videos and exclusive content. Also, keep an eye out for our upcoming Fringe Topic Store, featuring unique t-shirts and more. That's all for today. Stay safe and we'll see you soon. Farewell.